people are having disturbed sleep because of the way they're keeping their minds. If you are in a comfortable state of mind, if you go to sleep, the body knows when to wake up. One day it may sleep for this many hours, another day it may sleep for half the amount of time, it's perfectly fine. Body needs rest, body does not need sleep. Restfulness is not in the hours, it is in the drop of metabolic activity that you have. Generally in deep sleep, your metabolism drops approximately eight percent. You sit for Shambhavi, your metabolic activity can drop up to twenty-four percent. The restfulness that you're gaining in meditation is three times more profound than sleep. Then one thing that'll happen to you is, sleep quota will come down suddenly. So, you engineer something because you want to run it more efficiently. Running something inefficiently is not engineering. So, I'm a mother, I have a job and I have things to do, whatever you are, it doesn't matter. Whatever you are, it's important, whatever the nature of your activity. You're doing something because you think it's important for you. If you're doing something that's important for you, if you think your work is important, the first and foremost thing that you should do is you should work upon yourself. Inner engineering is a systematic way of working upon yourself, not just in the body, not just in the mind, not just in the emotional level, but all aspects, your body, mind, emotion and energy, if all these things are aligned and organized properly, this machine will work so much more efficiently. So the amount of sleep that you need, the amount of food that you need, the volume of rest that the body demands can be brought down considerably. At the same time, the volume of activity can be greatly enhanced and made more efficient and more effective. Especially if you're a mother, your responsibility is not just for making your life work well. Now you've taken the responsibility of making one or two more lives, their lives to work well. When you dare to take such a responsibility, I think, you must do inner engineering, there is no choice for you. If you are not a mother, you could choose maybe, but if you are a mother, you have no choice, you must. In a cellular way, your body cells will not allow you to sleep for some reason. There are many reasons as to why. So, if you are not able to sleep, I think you should join our garden department. Entire day, ten hours a day you work outside, you'll fall asleep <laughs> very. That doesn't work. The simpler way is uh, if you get initiated into Shunya meditation, the Shambhavi should do it. For most people, Shambhavi does this. If it did not work for you, if you're initiated into Shunya meditation, you will see it'll correct the, the sleep disorder if there is a sleep disorder. You're looking quite, quite fine and happy and if you're happy not sleeping, it's great. Yes, because sleep is death. Every day people are dying for six hours or eight hours or four hours. What's your choice? Less death or more death per day? Less death is good, isn't it? Only if it's causing health problems, you're distressed, that your machine is not smooth. Sleep is a kind of lubrication too for the system. Not enough sleep means everything becomes frictious within you. So if such frictious situations are happening, there are things to do. One thing is this Chandra Kund here, fifteen, twenty minutes every day, you will see the body will cool down, it'll be well lubricated and you will see the frictious nature of your mind and body will go. If that is gone, how long you sleep is not an issue. Not every human being needs to sleep for the same period of time, it's a very wrong notion. Different people need different levels of sleep and one aspect of yoga or one focus of yoga is to how to reduce sleep because sleep is skipping life, isn't it? People say, I enjoy sleep. Nobody can enjoy sleep. You enjoy the restfulness that sleep gives you. There is no way to enjoy life because in sleep, both you and the world are obliterated. That is, if you're really sleeping. But when you're really sleeping, you don't know what it is. You're not even there. So you cannot enjoy sleep. But the result of sleep is something we enjoy. What sleep does to us in terms of relaxation, in terms of restfulness, in terms of regeneration of the system that we enjoy. So if your regeneration is really good, it may so happen the volume of sleep that you need will come down dramatically. There is one aspect 
I think the other day somebody was asking me about the pineal gland. If the pineal secretions increase, this is generally in India, it's called amrutha or the elixir of life. If amrutha begins to flow, one thing that will happen is sleep will go down because sleep is death. If on a certain day it flows too much, you can't sleep at all. This is a normal thing. So for whatever reason you're sleeping or not sleeping or not sleeping enough, if that's an issue, you check in the morning how you are. If you're feeling wonderful and you're active through the day, forget about sleep. If you can go without sleep and you're very well, What's the problem? Well, that won't happen right now. But if it happens, what is the issue, I'm asking? Only if you don't know how to handle life, you want to sleep twelve hours a day. It's a way of escaping. If you're intending to sleep long without purpose, in a way it's a suicide. Need the rest and you sleep, that's fine, body needs rest. So, either garden department or shunya meditation, one of these things will find solution for you. <laughs> one more thing if you want to do, you just light an organic oil lamp a cotton wick, some oil, anything. What do you use here? Normal cooking oil. Linseed oil, rice bran oil or sesame oil, what do you have? Olive oil. Olive oil, fine. Any organic oil with a cotton wick, just burn one little lamp somewhere in the room where you sleep. You will see these things will completely disappear.